Hey guys. It's been a while. Oh. Merry nah. Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year. Through all the holidays. That's right. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, too, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. When yeah, was the yeah. last one? It might so be. It was uh, like early October. <laughs> but I, happy Arbor Day. Happy Halloween. Uh, <laughs> we suck. Let me find out for sure. I should happy know. Happy 4th that. of July. Because it was after the concert. <laughs> I think Ugh. no, maybe it was before the con- it was it was before the concert. Was it before right. the concert? And yeah, that was, was like September thirteenth or something, right? Something like that. The, the recording or the concert? The concert. No, the concert was at the end of September. Oh, twenty third or something. Now oh, it's in my head. But the recording was the fourteenth. We suck. Well, I, uh. I, you know, it's it's kind of understandable that we uh, couldn't record because th- November, December are so busy. It's true. So I'm not I'm I'm not all that bent out of shape right. that we didn't record we till get January. this over with. Lucky's so happy to say <laughs> hi. <laughs> he looks right. he looks extremely happy. It's okay. He's good. It's, it's Why is good. he looking at the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't like this. Let me down. That's what he does God. when he's happy. <laughs> Put him down. He you know, he won't even kiss me. There we go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Kate. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> lucky is such a lucky dog. Yeah. He just put me down, put me down, put me down. <laughs> hola. Hey. Sorry. Can you hear her? Hola. She's saying hola. Off in the distance, hola. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hola. 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 Yeah, she did. She re- I must have said that before to her because she once said it. Because I said people have been asking us to have a show. I don't know if that's true. And, then, <laughs> <laughs> and she says, "Really, you're ones and ones of fans." She thinks that's a joke, but actually, that's an yeah, accurate you know, description. That part, yeah, it's single digits. Yeah. Oh, anyway, you know, I might as well just jump right in, and we can. <laughs> the year is 2022. It's the 13th, wow. 13th of January, and you're wasted away on the North Coast with uh, Amigo Schmo. Mike. And Mickey. 2022. <laughs> but I get a new TV tomorrow. Ooh. I'm supposed to. Let's see if this all happens. It's been, I'll spare you all the details, been a mess. It was supposed to be before Christmas. Bought it. We bought it. I bought it uh, Black Monday. Mm. <laughs> I still don't have it. Wow. So, because they have to come install it, so it's supposed to happen tomorrow, and it's an 85 inch or whatever. It oh, just, nice! It should fit above the uh, fireplace. I all the measurements, it should go. You know, it'd be the, the exact same size as the mantle. You know, the width <laughs> and it goes up, so it fills everything <laughs> up to the curtains that are next to it in the windows. Cool, nice. And I'm then you can watch. That. You can watch Blue Bloods. You can watch Jimmy Buffett on yeah. Blue Bloods tomorrow. Yep, yes. I set up the DVR for that already. Uh, yeah, that's so a story, I, by the way, to our listeners. That's actually a Buffett story. So you can quit yelling at us. We actually did a Buffett yeah, story. Yeah, just see, we tied Buffett in content. my new TV into Jimmy Buffett, mm-hmm. but it's 4K and stuff. This is 4K. In fact, that 60, 65 inch, whatever I have, is I'm going to try to move it here in the office. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> So it might be overwhelming in the room, but I'd like to. We've been talking about getting rid of this piano, but I don't know. But I have to have to arrange stuff so at least to be like a bring another chair in here and have like a TV room. You have a piano office. in there? Yeah. Yeah, for all the times. Joe and you've never there. played yeah, us I, anything? I never played you anything. I, I, all the songs that we've talked about? It's got a bunch of stuff on it right now. It's got a bunch of stuff. It, it holds papers. Oh, hey, look what's on the piano. Right? Can't tell. There. Oh, yeah. neat. The can't see Lake of it? Power by neat. Mickey Asterio. Oh, that oh. hack. I don't have mine yet. Yes. I have my, I, just my, the old ones. I have no. an, ex- yeah, yeah, I got, they're, whoops, they're right yeah. up there stack. Thanks, guys. Um, my uh, co-author and publisher just published a hardcover copy of The Prison Stone, the first book. Oh, as an experiment, because we were talking about how cool it would be to have hardcover versions. And Amazon just started making hardcover versions, but 
the cover is printed on the front of the book. So it's like a textbook. It's not like a classy hardcover with a dust jacket and all that, like a leather bound or cloth bound, not leather bound, cloth bound book with a dust jacket. And I was saying, I was complaining about that. And he and John was saying, well, they're not the only game in town cryptically. And then a couple weeks later, I get this package and it's a hardcover copy of the prison stone with a dust jacket. Oh, nice. cloth bound with a dust jacket. And since he's not using Amazon create space, we're able to sell the hardcover on other stores. So, ah. so it's pretty oh, cool. Wow. The hardcover of prison. Well, then I'll have to get the hardcover and it's, you, it's, that. you still haven't signed. It's pretty pricey, unfortunately, but uh, it's 40 bucks. It's oh well, oh, that's not up. We can't, yeah, it's not, I'm thinking not, it's like a, you're scared. That was three did four hundred dollars. <laughs> it's, it's more hundred dollars. It's more than a <laughs> normal death. book book buyer would pay for a hardcover copy, but still, it's not that bad. But then again, our nineteen bucks for a paperback is pretty expensive. Exactly, that's not it's that far like, off the paperback. So yeah. I got, I have one copy of the Prison Stone. It's upstairs. I forgot to bring it. I was going to show it off, and I got my own copy of Lake of Fire back there. But it's Wait. a pre-sale <laughs> copy with not for resale printed across. <laughs> Wait, Lake of Power, you mean? Did you say Lake of Fire? Or is that another? Did I say Lake of Fire? Yeah, yeah. Did, did he say Lake of Fire? Yeah, I thought, I, oh, is that God. one of the other four? And I'm like, God, I hope I didn't say <laughs> Lake of Fire. Said, did he write another book? <laughs> Lake of Fire is the new Steven Seagal movie. Oh, that would suck if I can't even remember the name of my own book. Because <laughs> it's three words. <laughs> three words. There, wait up. He's got to check. He's got to double check his the title of his now? book. Lake of Fire. <laughs> we forever, forever shall refer to it as Lake of Fire. Lake of Fire. Lake of Power. No, that is cool. <laughs> now I can finally put yeah. it up on the wall. I was thinking about doing it this afternoon just to make it look good, but rehanging those four pictures, that's way too much work. So <laughs> but you, hold, you need another place for that, another spot. Now yeah. I have to raise all four up because they're too low as it is. I was using existing nail holes. So that's why that's why they're the that that, uh, that needlework thing is right next to it's right next to it. It's not they're not supposed to be that close. But uh but anyway, because it was easier. I was in a hurry. We were doing a book interview, so I wanted to put them up on the wall. That's right. That book interview. I have not read all those four books. I have not made it through the first one. <laughs> but no, I, I haven't. I mean, I'm being fact, honest. In, the in first just... one, the first one's not here because it's out there. I'm, I'm, I'm reading it actively. Well, my book so, is just oh, wow. self-contained, just one little story, all different characters. You can actually so jump you don't to that. need no. You don't need the. Well, yeah, right. it helps. It helps. It helps to have that. All right. I just so I want to do it the right way. Really, I, I'm going to read Mick's book first. <laughs> <laughs> I just started looking at. I'm going to read your book. This I, I just tell, and I know you're writing these words. I know the first book was mostly, or at least the beginning was John. No, um, we sh we shared writing. Well, yeah, it's true. John did write most of, or more, I should say, more of book one, um, but only like the very beginning. And then after a while, okay. he included me in the rest of it. But all the plotting was John's. The entire plot is all John's. But the writing is pretty much okay. equally. I'm, I'm going to read Mickey. This will be my Burp. foray. You're going to jump right to, right to mix. My starter book into the Red Horn uh, universe. Well, maybe I'll do the same. I, I can't let you read it by yourself. We have to, we have to <laughs> yeah, discuss. No. Yeah. I started like looking at it a little, and I read like the about the author, which was obviously written by Mickey. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. It's, Just like, it's, like an hour before it went to Amazon. No, it's got Mickey's it. stamp all over. You can just tell it's Mick. So I said, I'm going to read this one. And frankly, I'll be honest, it's not as thick. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, hey, I can read this. So me, me and Mick, Mike can read it and uh, find find the Buffett references. What's everybody drinking? Hey, I've got a. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nice. That's a good one. This is a Russell. Uh, Russell's ten year, ten year bourbon. Mm -hmm. hmm. I tried to get, get winter. Did I talk about this? I'm sorry. This is Saint Elmo's uh, cherry. Let's see, bourbon with dark cherry and vanilla. Hmm. And oh. uh, um, so Jacob got it because we were we didn't go to Saint Elmo's. I mean, we stood outside it in Indianapolis. It's there, um, so it's got a little bit of sentimental value. Because of the game, Michigan game. 
mm. but it kind of tastes like a Manhattan. So I, oh, you know, wow. purists might frown up on it, but what do you got, Mick? I was gonna, I was trying to get the winter lager because that's what I would normally get, but they didn't have it, so I got Alpine lager. Oh, I've had that. It's pretty, and good. it's brisk and smooth. Uh -huh. I'm guessing is that like a Germany beer, German oh. type beer? I think so. I bet. And I've already yeah, I like empty. The, uh, I like their cold snap. It just, I just started seeing it. Usually, it, it's out for a long time by now, but it just started to come out. Mm. I like the cold snap. Yeah, I guess I missed out on the winter lager, or maybe that's still to come too. Yeah, I think and they so. had a Christmas ale, right? I had that. I think I still have some of that. Those are a little heavier. Yeah. Yeah, I went crazy about like different Christmas ales. <laughs> a Scotch ale, Frankie Booth Christmas ale, which I, I like that one in the Great Lakes Brewery, the Christmas ale. It is good. But eh. Not a big fan. Uh, it's okay. I like, it. but yeah, there's too many, there's a lot of flavors. You just had like one. Oh, and I got those those monk beers from Belgium with the Oops. like the raspberry from from Bois. Okay, yeah. Yeah. With the cork and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I bought a couple, but I just had one. Open the cork. So I've been the like, bottles are bigger than uh than usual. Yeah, in fact I, I I have like their size of wine bottles. They actually are. So you have to drink it all. Darn there it. was a beer. We, I went to a brewery with uh, the kids a while back, and I was going to send this picture to you guys. I got, I got this beer there, and let me see if I could find it. And I meant to send the picture to you, and I, I forgot. Mike looks like he's growing his shit out of his head. <laughs> what? You just had a shock. <laughs> really? <laughs> looks yeah, like you can't see. Standing up. Yeah. Look at your image. There you go. Behind you. Oh, now we can't see. Oh, the, the cotton <laughs> thing? Yeah, jeez. <laughs> I don't know why that's wow. in here. While oh, Mike does that, I have to go get my second bottle. Wow. We we mentioned Buffett once. Yeah, he's going to have to edit around that. That's going to be tricky. All right, I found it. I finally found it. All right, see if you can, can you see why I liked it. Um, can you see? Can't really tell. Well, He's he's holding something. Is it what he's holding? No, it's who it is. I wouldn't. Oh, it's dark. dark. <laughs> I don't it, recognize who is it. that. Who is that? Look, I don't recognize. You don't recognize that? No. I mean the, the style. I, I recognize oh, from. Come on. <laughs> Look at me. No, oh, Mr. Look at me. Meeseeks. That's Mr. Meeseeks. Oh, it is. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, there. It did remind me of Rick and Morty, yeah. the style, but it's totally it's Mr. Meeseeks. Mm, still and see it. what is that picture of? It's a Mr. Meeseeks holding up a. His no, I mean box. he's on what? What's he on? What? What? Is, he's standing in front of a car. And he's holding is, up oh, is that a beer box. bottle? Is that a beer yeah. bottle? Oh, yeah. That's what I. I it's it was so the, long ago when you mentioned it. I, <laughs> what beer? It's a uh, harmless Gerard. <laughs> it was the Ascension Brewing Company in. Uh, it's over uh, by, by uh, where Brian lives, Farmington area. Oh really? Huh? Yeah, Novi Farmington. Oh, I didn't know he was over there. Yep. Yeah. So I like the, <laughs> I like the bottle, more than the beer probably. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to mute, but here it is. Okay, how's our chance? Yeah. Talk about Schmo. <laughs> she, Schmo. She, she bought her, Kate, to some Christmas money and bought herself a new ukulele. Oh, it's cool. A, wow, that's nice. It, what is it? It's a Fender, is it a Stratocaster, right? Yeah. yeah. A Stratocaster ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. That looks cool. Yeah. yeah. And she... She's playing up there. It does sound pretty good. It sounds better what she had. She had a decent one that she bought with her Christmas money the year before, or so, her birthday money. Yeah. And then uh, before that, she had a real cheap ukulele, like nothing. So now she's got a little stable of stuff. 
She's better on my guitar than I am. So I started screwing around. Now I didn't have an excuse because of the surgery I had. Speaking of ukuleles, um, did you guys know uh, Jake Shimabukuro uh, has an album called Jake and Friends and Buffett's on it? It was announced in October, but it came out November 12th. And I totally forgot to check it out. Jimmy, no, performs, I, yeah. Jimmy performs come Monday on it. Well, that's cool. I didn't even know that. This, I, I wish we were, there was a podcast we could, yes, we could I know. tune into. I knew this was and this was after the last time we podcast. I knew it was coming, but it wasn't yet there. So, oh, I can't wait till it comes out. I'm going to check it out. And I forgot yeah. till someone just reminded me right now. <laughs> well, I didn't. I forgot <laughs> about it till I read about it in Buffett News while researching today's podcast. And uh, jump forward to um, early December. The next story of note is the Margaritaville at Sea cruise line. That uh, yeah yeah. What do you guys? What are your thoughts on that? Because I'm reading a lot of negativity out there. Oh, well, I haven't read any reviews. I was I was negative not, just at the not reviews. photos. Oh, there's a reaction. reaction. The reaction to Jimmy having a, a cruise line. Or, you know. People are just like, yeah, oh, like now, now it's over the top. Now yeah. he's a hypocrite. Exactly. He was exactly. making fun of the, the, what was it? Condo commandos. Well, was that the term he had with the white shoes and white belt from Morris's nightmare? Yeah. He was maybe, making fun of the maybe, cruise yeah. people. He was making yeah. fun of the cruise people in Morris's nightmare. I couldn't remember what, what name he had for him, but now he's running. Like he a cruise calls him a tacky cruise ship. And yeah. Yeah. The uh, thing that yeah. kills me is it should be a Windjammer cruise. That's the cruise line he should have gotten. Exactly. Into. Yep. That's what yep. pisses me off. Yep. It should have windjammer been Windjammer or Barefoot, yeah. something that like would, that. That is so Buffett. Yeah. And unfortunately, right. it, it didn't last. It didn't. Well, same thing with the, the tequila. I was just going to say, opportunity every time tequila. he goes, he, you know, the rum, the tequila, it, it, you know, the, the foods, yep. it's that. He goes you know, mainstream. He, he goes, yeah, mainstream, yeah, no risk. Yep. You know, that reminds me, I tried some volcano shrimp, some Margaritaville volcano shrimp that they, it was on sale at the supermarket. So I figured, yeah, I'll try it out. It sounded great. And of course, it looked great on the box. Uh -oh. It was, it was, it was like a, uh, like a, a popper, but with shrimp in it, like <laughs> okay. a sour cream, sour cream and, and jalapeno popper. But it had shrimp in it, and it was cheese instead. It was more cheese than sour cream, and it it wasn't good. Hmm. It was pretty bad. It was pretty cheap, but it sounded great. Oh, that sounds so good. Because I've had the it jalapeno, the, the jalapeno yeah. shrimp and cheese breaded. Oh, that sounds so good. The jam and jerk shrimp. Yeah, it was like I think it was good. I like it. It's expensive. I, I wouldn't buy because it it's expensive as hell. Right. It's overpriced for what it really is. There's stuff yeah. like it. Because there's not exactly there's, that. Yeah. The right. portions aren't, you don't get much in a box, right? right? right. So, well, the cruise yeah, line was announced in early December, and Patty, friend of the show, Patty, was quick to uh, text us and, and demand that we make arrangements. The ship itself, I guess it's only one ship so far. It's called the Margaritaville Paradise. Um, I did a quick check of the website again just this afternoon, and it's 170 bucks per person with free Wi-Fi and five drinks, five <laughs> drinks for the that'll last you the whole. I mean, well, drinks are like 12 bucks each on a cruise ship. And uh, and I, I also checked um, booking something and they're full up till the end of April. And they only go to Grand Bahama. This guy's, I was kind of surprised by because I'm used to Windjammer where they would do different sections of the Caribbean. They, See, they only go to one island. Thing. You're what right. if they go to Jamaica and say, oh, we made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> if you pay extra, they'll shoot at you. <laughs> yeah, but um, they, you're, you're right. They missed an opportunity to go someplace exotic. I mean, they could have, you know, picked oops. something. You know, my phone is yelling at St. Bart's or something, you know. Oh, he doesn't uh, want to buy St. Bart's. Yeah, that's they true. might he find his house at St. Bart's. Right. That's just asking for trouble. Yeah, that's right. that's just stupid. Bring them all to your doorstep. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Windjammer but went right, to St. Bart's because that's how I got there was Windjammer. See? We went to St. Bart's on Windjammer. It's just that he's always like mainstream. They had low mm -hmm. risk. 
uh, just going for that common denominator. Yeah, and it works. And yeah. I don't even know. You... I I, yeah, I suppose he's got a say in it, but it really seems like once he once he signed off with that uh, latitude place. Yeah, it's got a life of its own. Yeah, now. and now they're just into everything. I mean, toilet paper and feminine hygiene products. And... Mid-December, Buffett's on the cover of AARP magazine. My brother said he was going to give me a copy, but I have yet to get it, so I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen that either. I, I didn't, didn't know. know I learned this. that just now. Oh, really? You just broke the news to me. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised because that was pretty big news way back when. Mm -mm. Late December, Jimmy celebrates his 75th birthday, and he's on the cover of a special issue of Life magazine. And while Mike tells you that story, when Mike picks up the story, I'm going to get my third beer. Well, yeah, again, this was another thing. That, ordered, you have yours already. I ordered one I, too. Yeah, I did. I, just I got it. I didn't get but it. You know what? And I, I, I didn't know about this coming in, but HUD sends me a picture of it. He saw it in Florida he on the newsstands. It. Yeah. I mean, it's, an, it's <laughs> that's something HUD would do. He would go yeah. to a newsstand basically and check it out. Well, it's, it's supposed to be, they have these, these special issues, these really expensive special issues at the at the checkout lanes and yeah, so at the, it's a grocery store or something like that right it's it's in one of the bins at the at the but grocery i've never seen like the buffalo one I, I see the i see i can't even remember who's the last one but i keep seeing the one from like the month before there that's still at the checkout lanes yeah and it, but amber saw one she she just mm. and then but she didn't like offer to buy it or anything <laughs> she just like hey, hey i saw this thing did that you know you love more than life yeah, itself exactly but i didn't buy so it i said <laughs> so i said oh, oh pick I it up for your, me your I bought back. your jam and jerk trip for you though no, i didn't get that <laughs> i said i'll pick it up for me and then by the time the text, text exchange oh i already left sorry <laughs> So that, what are the I odds of that? It. I right. just oh I the just timing. Noticed, what I just noticed all of a sudden my it should have been here already. The Life magazine now expected January fourteenth or fifteenth. Okay, I was thinking yeah, February or something. That's not that bad. I'm oh. thinking when you read that oh, January fourteenth. I'm thinking that's in the future. No, I know. <laughs> that's tomorrow. I know. The I middle of was, January. Oh, like the way it, the way it you says. Can page it, I through it during the commercials of Blue Bloods. I don't know what. <laughs> What's going on anymore? Because I have had issues. You know, we bought a no, Christmas present issue. for a friend. It is an issue. Yeah. So we had. But sorry, I, I I derailed our Life <laughs> magazine thing by talking about Joe's yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, you brought. I did. I I, I derailed the whole mind. thing. I've been talking to people on the phone. Don't play toy with me. <laughs> Look at <laughs> his, <laughs> his seat is spinning. It's literally spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him get up. I was talking and looking at you, and I just see the empty chairs. Spinning. The cloud of dust and the chair spinning. <laughs> Shaped like Mickey. <laughs> oh. uh, and the chair was spinning, Mick. It was spinning. Like, it's, no, it's I was, out of here. spin the chair. I was turning it around because I was going to make mention that I have a new chair. Yeah, oh, okay. You can see it's like translucent or something, right? Yeah, it's like a netting. Yeah. It's not a cushion, it's a netting. Oh, cool. I think yeah. I have that. Yeah. I was originally going to get... Your chair looks better. Yeah, I, I, wanted to get, I wanted to get a, a nice new chair because my old chair was breaking apart. And I was thinking about getting, you know, splurging and asking for, for... This is a birthday present. Asking for an executive chair with, you know, not leather, but big cushions and stuff. Big pillowy cushions. And, and then I, my, uh, my nephew was telling me about his computer chair and he had the net netting on the back. And I'm thinking that actually might be better because you might get really hot and sweaty on a right. leathery, a leathery chair. So then yeah. I got talked into this and I didn't necessarily want one with a cushion for the head. Cause I didn't think I'd be leaning back that, that much, but now that I've got it, it's like, that's all I do is lean back. But anyway. uh, back to, back to the magazine. Yes. Cause you did have, you, uh, you've did, paged I the, have it. I read it. Um, did you read yours, Mick? No, I've I've only I have a digital copy of it, and I've only paged through it. I have not read it. Okay. Yep. Yep. I did read it. It was. It's interesting. It's good. It's it's uh, you know, it's a magazine. It's quick read. It kind of, it's very very high level, so they don't delve into, like a lot of like great detail. Mm -hmm. There's one little section where they talk about coral reefers, and they say, well, there's like, 
50 coral reefers that have come and gone over the years. And then they go into some details on some of them. And it's like, they talk about like four or five of them. <laughs> and then that's it. That's all there is. I hate that. Okay, yeah. You, they should have a list of them, like a, a magazine, you know, on the side. Of Absolutely. The box. There should be every one of them. There I should be some, where like are they now Wikipedia or something like that. Of, of the coral reefers. Yeah. It should be yeah. a, I haven't read a real magazine in a while. So I, just, I figured it'd be really I lightweight. Did. So that's why I wasn't concerned about blowing 14 bucks on it. Because that's yeah, usually well, the price is 14 bucks. I mean, it's cool. He's it on was, the cover, 15, but I wasn't, that's I wasn't I that driven to get it because I didn't think it would be that great a read. And it's even like the, the books, the hardcover books that purport to be a Buffett biography. They're so lightweight. It's just a bunch of um, extracts from, from previous magazine interviews. Right. That they just compile into a, uh, it looks like it's heavily researched, but it's just the guy paged through a bunch of magazines at the library. Right. Anyway. But so, and it, it was, it's good. This, the, uh, the articles are good because they, they kind of go in chapters, but again, they're very brief. They cover vast mm. periods of time and, you know, just glancing over most things, but it, it's a magazine. So that's to be expected. Um, uh, but it was enjoyable. So the pictures are cool and, you know, it's more of a, to me, a collector's item than it is, mm -hmm. you know, something to read and reading enjoy. It, and then I'll put it in a frame and a base. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, pictures are cool. It's cool. I mean, they're celebrating this, you know, this guy's uh, been in the business. It's, it's amazing, you know, yeah. all these years it makes you feel old. I mean, we're there, you know. <laughs> Well, I've got enough things making me feel old. Ugh. Yes. Like every time I get up. <laughs> uh, Since the that? 70s, for crying out loud. There's just something today that came out uh, that I saw in Buffett News. The Miami Herald has an interview, a brief two-minute interview with Jimmy about what Key West means to him. And that's on YouTube. So you can go check that out. Yeah, and, I saw the headline. I done, didn't have a chance to. Yeah, I, I watched the video just before the podcast to see if it was worthwhile. And it's it's nice, but he doesn't really say anything he hasn't said before. But it is cool. Um, and uh, I guess the big news for this, for 2022, is Jimmy's going to be on the CBS show Blue Bloods. And that's going to be tomorrow. Yay! Which is probably, maybe it's going to be tonight if I edit this fast enough. I kind of doubt it. It's probably going to be last night when you watch this, but it's, it's going to be future. Friday, Friday, January, January 14th. 14th. Way in the future. And Where's the month going? Jimmy plays a Jimmy in. Buffett impersonator, so we should be pretty good at that. <laughs> I'm going to record it right now. Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking that while I was once again, I, I've Blue heard Bloods. so much. I've seen so many headlines about this that I thought it had aired last month. And then I just saw well, I knew the it was coming up, but then I forgot about it. I didn't it. even know. It, what is the show? This show's still on. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Have you ever watched it? Have you, no. have you ever watched it? No. no, I haven't either. Oh, gosh. So that takes care of uh, the news portion. Now we got the concert roundup portion. Ooh. We should be talking about the Pine Knob show, but I don't have a recording of it. Even though it was at the end of September and here we are mid January, <laughs> I'm still waiting for a recording of the show to show up someplace. So oh. we have to, and also the Blossom Show. And the weird thing is, if you go to nugs.net, which is where all the recordings are supposed to be, they don't have a copy of the Pine Knob or Blossom Shows. Wow. So I don't know what gives. I know there was a bit of an outage during the Pine Knob Show, there was a connection loss for those watching or listening online yeah but i don't think it was it was brief as far as i know and um i heard was it weather show. related i heard the, the show weather remember sucked. i didn't go and yeah. i heard the show yeah you know, it was really cool that I and you should have recorded on. it for me schmo because i could yeah. be using it on the show right now yeah i didn't but you were too busy feeling... making drinks weren't you i was too busy like bummed that i didn't go and staying dry and, and the warm greatest. yeah staying warm <laughs> yeah that definitely part. staying warm warm and dry <laughs> yeah and patty for the show patty she's like i can't go in this weather i'm this and look at that I, I can't go and so if i can't go she can't go because <laughs> you know but it's up to her but 
So I'm like, I'm not going to go. Then she says, Schmo won't go, guys. So I'm not going. Oh, is that how it was? (laughs) <laughs> the way she told you, and I, I, I wasn't in the, I was in the mood to call her out on it. I will some. That's month. hilarious. Now I am, if she's well, listening. If <laughs> I figured, well, um, I don't know. There are four shows to talk about because Jimmy did perform later on. They did not perform in October, and November. I guess Meeting of the Minds was supposed to be November, but for some reason, Buffett decided not to participate with it. So they didn't do anything in November, but they did come back in December, the beginning of December, for four shows in Florida. The first show in early December was the 4th of December, and that was in Tampa. And um, it was pretty much the same set list as our show. Um, But I've got a couple clips because this is the concert roundup. Here's an excerpt from the Bing and Bong show where Jimmy brings Nadira and Tina on to perform the old Bing and Bong theme song, which I would totally forgotten about until they sang it. And for some reason, Tina and Nadira are renamed Prissy and Peaches. Those are their names. So here's the clip. Not hearing anything. Oh, really? You're not hearing it? Oh, no, no we're not hearing it. <laughs> oh, should we say <laughs> interesting? Interesting. Good thing you said something. I was I... just sitting here. <laughs> no, I just was waiting, but but Mike realized. Okay. Mickey, Mickey thought we could hear. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I I set it up so you could hear it, but then through my testing, I was having really bad audio problems with my headset for some reason. Um, I'm and, chuckling over here because every time you say concert roundup, I always think of Jimbo saying concert roundup. That's, I hear Schmo and so I, did I, did I say that by round, accident? I don't counts, remember. Concert, yeah, concert, it was concert, concert roundup. I said, I said it. I mean, I remember this joke. I just don't remember how it started. But anyway, I restarted the session and I forgot that I wasn't sharing computer audio, but now I am. So now you should be able to hear it. And all this is going to be edited out so the viewers will not even know what we're talking about. Let's, let's, let's bring the referrets up here. Yeah, let's go. No, no. Win it down. Come bring on, beautiful women up. Tina. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. I forgot to say, your name is? I forgot. Uh, okay. Oh, Come on in. Peaches. Hey. Oh, this hey. is Peaches. Peaches. And what's your name? I- Trixie? I don't know. Prissy. Chrissy. 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 Oh, Chrissy. we're so good, you know. Y'all sing with this band? Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I can. They're over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? Is that I opening? Don't know. Okay, so I'm, okay, we're going to have a test here. This Uh-oh. is. Okay. Okay, so remember when they did the Bing and Bong theme song? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know, can you? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Next okay. question. Well, That's right. got it. Whether it's the weather or a travel in fact, you're sure to hear the latest views, this and that. News and future history, explanations, mystery. Things you want to know. Whoa. It's, it's the Bing and Bong Show. Yeah. We're off to a big start. Okay, that sounds great. We're going to. You know what? That's the Deer and Tina. That's the Reeferettes. Come on. That's like Prissy and. Who are you? Peaches. 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 You're Georgia. She's Georgia. 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 Peaches. Okay, anyway. And the next clip is from the intro to Grapefruit Juicy Fruit. And there was a Santa Claus parade today in downtown Tampa. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I had to say, I thought, I thought y'all threw me a surprise birthday party. I'm sorry. I, and then Santa Claus showed up. I went, oh, I get it. Okay, all right. Oops, that ended abruptly. <laughs> I hit a key by accident. But that's pretty much... Say, cut that right off. That's pretty much where it would end. He he played uh, the opening to Grapefruit again, and everybody cheered. And he goes, oh, I don't need to introduce this song. And then it fades out. Next clip is from Come Monday. This one is really long. So, you know, grab a blanket, tuck yourselves in. Because um, this is like four and a half minutes long. But it's, it apparently, it's a story he's never told before. 
Doyle has been on every album we ever made. I was, I was four years old when I made the first album. I mean, Doyle's about 35 right now. It's still playing away up there. All right. Okay, so uh, this is a little song. Uh, I mean, uh, another one that uh, it was all Florida was responsible for this because, again, I was working in Texas. I couldn't get a lot of work here. For some reason, I could go to Texas and get work, but I wanted to live in the Keys. Yes. So I commuted. It was, it was a good commute. And then and part of the commute, I'm, I'm going to tell this story because it's been a long time and I, and I have never told this story on stage. And it's, let's just say it's way beyond the statute of limitations. Yes. Okay. So, how I got home from Texas by Jimmy Buffett. So I'd go out there and play and I'd fly back to Miami and I'd go. And then all of a sudden there was a guy in Key West that had a filling station that he, he had rental cars there. And he had to get them moving back and forth between Miami and Key West. So he said... And he, I was playing in, in a bar on Bourbon, I mean Bourbon Street. I was, that was when I was three years old. Uh, I was nine when I got to Key West and started playing. So anyway, I'm playing on Duval Street and... Uh, crazy Ophelias. I know y'all were all there. You know, all 11 of you. Yes. But anyway, uh, uh, Joe, who owned the filling station there, known as Sitco Joe. Um, in those days, I don't even have Sitco anymore, I don't think, do they? Yeah. Anyway, he'd say, well, I've got these cars, and you could drive them back to Miami, and you could get on your plane go to work. I went, this is great. This is great. So <clears throat> I did that, and then all of a sudden, I had a job in Miami, and I'm, and I'm driving the cars back and forth, and I had a girlfriend in Miami, and all of a sudden, Sitco Joe said, well, I got this car over here, and you got to get it up there real fast, and it was a Cadillac. I'd been driving like, uh, I don't know, uh, what was that? Gremlins and uh, something like that. So I'm driving a Cadillac up the Florida Keys. Now, come on, you know. And, uh, and so I get, I get up to the job, and I usually I'd go to, to the rent-a-car other filling station and, put the, and drop off the car, and I'd get a cab and go to work. But this time I thought, you know, I got a little time here, and so I called my girlfriend and I said, I'm going to pick you up and we go down to the beach in my Cadillac. And so we did that and then I went to work and I was the uh, first act on the bill of about six folk singers working in Coral Gables. And I'm, I'm looking out in the audience and there were usually at that point of the day, there were maybe six or seven people there waiting for the headliners to come on. And I'm looking out and I'm playing away and I see Sitco Joe in the audience. And he is not alone. He had some <clears throat> people with him. Let's just say they didn't look like your average folk club customer. And so I finished the set and I thought, this is great. Sitco Joe brought some friends along, so I'm playing my ass off up there. And I get off at the <laughs> end of the show and I go back to the dressing room. <clears throat> and before I can even turn around, there's Sitco Joe looking like He's not very happy. And these guys, and the guy comes to me and he goes, where's the fucking call? <laughs> Excuse me, I know we got kids in there, but scratch that. Where's the foolish call? Uh, and it started dawning on me that God knows what I had been delivering. Because <laughs> Sit Sitco Joe did go to jail a little bit later on. And, <clears throat> and so... The next story is not that bad because I got stopped on the Seven Mile Bridge by uh, somebody had a flat tire, and while we were waiting for it, I wrote come Monday. So things do work out in the Florida Keys. Only you have heard that first story in Tampa. And like I said, I'm beyond the statute of limitations. There you go. There's a brand new old story. Cool. <clears throat> and the... What? Wow, so that we're getting cool. all these rehash stories and we get all this light stuff. And then he brings, you know, he's getting a lot talky lately, which is great. 
you know. With the, the final death. clip is from the end of Back Where I Come From. The next song was going to be Last Man Going Paris, according to the set list. And then the song after that was Margaritaville. And I guess Jimmy focused on the wrong song. So at the end of Back Where I Come From, it really sounds like he's about to introduce Margaritaville. Oh, it got so low. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm going to do some quick editing right now. Wow, on the fly. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at this guy. Because uh, for some reason, I did, not, good. I did not raise the audio on this. This new chairs get him all this energy. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens now. <laughs> He's like a new man. <laughs> well, while we're sitting here, Mike, over your right shoulder, I keep looking at like two candlesticks with <laughs> Looks like coronavirus. <laughs> that of them, like they of kind them. of are. <laughs> dee, 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 lee, lee, dee, dee. They're, they're, st they're fake plants. I don't, Master I don't know. juggler. The <laughs> yeah, with one ball. It looks like <laughs> coronavirus models or something. <laughs> with the spot. They kind of look like that. Uh, I've yeah, been I staring at that the whole time. I got that and I got the, the cotton plant right here because every house should have a cotton plant. Ugh. Here we go. Let's try the uh, fake Margaritaville intro again. That sound works all the way to Margaritaville, huh? That's where I come from, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, not quite yet. Yeah. We, oh, we got we to gotta do a Captain Tony song. He, I've been... I had a Captain Tony dream the other night, and so uh, I thought, you know... Two? I got it. Don't panic. <laughs> I used to do this before y'all were around. Watch this. I can do my own guitar. Watch that. Oh. Yeah, want to see me change strings? It'll take a while. <laughs> and there you go. That's the concert roundup for December 4th, the show in, on Saturday from Tampa. Um, the set list was pretty much... What the hell? I just had a thing pop up verifying Microsoft Outlook, and I don't have Microsoft Outlook open. Ooh, it's, okay. a, it's a virus. So what the hell? Anyway, um, oh, they did off to see the lizard. That's slightly different. Uh, Delaney Talks to Statues was the uh, songs you don't know by heart song, along with Cowboy in the Jungle. Um, and he did Florida. I want to hear that song through one time. <laughs> all every the time way through. I try not to look at Mike. But yeah, um, every time I think of Greg, so yay. Yeah. <laughs> to Greg. Woman going crazy on Caroline Street as well. And he did Florida Days as one of the encores. Uh, the next concert was Tuesday, which was December 7th, and this was in Jacksonville, and there were substantial problems with this show because it didn't start till seven songs in. We missed the first six songs and well, six and a half songs because it's the concert started right in the middle of boat drinks. The broadcast started right in the middle of boat drinks. And the weird thing was Radio Margaritaville did not do a replay. So I guess their copy of it was screwed up, too. And they didn't even mention they didn't even admit to it, which really ticks me off. Um, but anyway, no apology. Come on. Well, they should at least say something instead of just playing music and then you're thinking okay a couple songs and then they're going to announce the replay no where they went uh, song 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 for an hour and then it's like i guess they're not going to do a replay mm -hmm. anyway um here's a the first clip there are only two clips from this show because the recording was short um yeah it was pretty much the same except this time this concert jimmy ended with florida's instead of it just being in the one of the encores it was the final song um, here's a clip though from the intro to Slow Lane. So, this is a little song that kind of had its roots in the Gulf of Mexico. Because I, uh, I grew up on the, on the other Florida line, the Florida Alabama line. And, uh, and I used to sneak over to Florida because I, as a kid, they would give. So, this is a little song that kind of had its there? roots in the Gulf of Mexico. I didn't touch a thing. Because I, uh, I grew up on the other Florida line, the Florida Alabama line. Yeah, you and, hit uh, the needle. And I used to sneak over to Florida because I, 
As a kid, they would give you free orange juice at the welcome station on the Florida State line. I, I would drink so much orange juice, they would just kick me out of the place. That's when I knew I wanted to go move to Florida because they have orange juice. Then I ran into many other products that they have in Florida. Over the year, I could, I could write a book about that. Hmm. We've gone from orange juice to medical marijuana. I think that's progress. Yes, I do. <laughs> Or, let's see, we got vitamin C and then CBD. <laughs> I just made that up on the spot. Maybe you could have, maybe you could have an orange juice with CBD and THC in it. We call that Florida, you know, something like that. Anyway, I got off track here because. Uh... And uh, he did a tribute to Tom Petty near the end of the show. I don't remember when Tom Petty passed away, but it must have been around this time. And so the band did a Tom Petty cover. Oh, oh by the way, um, I really hacked the, the musical presentation, the song, just to tighten it up. So there are some edits during when they actually start playing there are some heavy edits and that's my doing it's not that they sound weird it's just that i wanted to compress the song to make the clip shorter all right Thanks, are we Doug. having a good time tonight that's why we're here yeah so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna do this tonight for my My great friend Stan Lynch, who, uh, if any of you are fans of Tom Peretti and the Heartbreakers of the Mud Crutches, if you're my age, you remember, because uh, I used to play uh, on the uh, lawn uh, down in Gainesville. Uh, we do free shows down there, Mud Crutches and the Coral Reef Band. That's when I, I met Tom the first time. And Stan was the drummer, and Stan is now the uh, director of music at Flagler College in St. Augustine. Great. He was... We tried to get him here tonight, but we can't go to Florida without doing a Tom Petty song. I am sorry. And as a pilot and an old friend, this is for you, Tom. Yeah, let's do it. We got any Tom Petty fans out here, Florida? Right. And the sun went down as it crossed that. And there you go. There's a sample of Learning to Fly by Tom Petty cool. as performed by Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefers. Cool. Now there's another Tom Petty cover floating around out there. I don't you know even what remember it is. the first one. It's on Encores, isn't it? I believe so. Wild I Yeah, I was going to say, go. I couldn't remember if that was the Petty song or not because I'm really yep. not that fluent on Tom Petty. Yep. Yeah, it is. And I like that. I like his uh, Buffett's version of it. Did a good job. Well, Petty, those... Petty really became part of the <clears throat> music tree in America, everywhere. I mean, so many bands to cover Petty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, he really, uh, he really just kept getting better and better. Really. There... And mud crutches, wasn't it? Mud crutch. I think it it's just mud, mud crutches. crutch. I was it wasn't the really? mud crutches. Oh, that's I wanted bad. to. I wanted to correct him every time he said it, like yeah. live. Like it's not the mud crutches. I think it's just called mud crutch. And mm -hmm. mud crutch did a version of uh, a cover of that you know that six days on the road song, that trucking song. Not me. I don't know what. Six days on the road, and I'm going to make it home tonight. You've heard it. <laughs> Look it up. I know I don't know it, so that right now. Uh, singing it to me is not It's a help. great. It's, I know I don't it's know. It's your, uh, your, your, your persona, your <laughs> movement that's really. It's. I heard. I heard it on. I listened to this Outlaw Country station on uh, Sirius XM, and uh, that came up one time. That that 
version of that song by Mud, the Mud Crutches. <laughs> and it's it's great. He does a great version of that song. I mean, I like it anyway, but he he just kills it. Six days on the road. Yeah, here. Yeah. Six. Well, there are two other shows from Florida, the but I'll crutches. save those for later, I guess. Since we're going to have time while I wait for a Pine Knob copy to show up. And then I guess Buffett's going to be back in April performing, performing live. I wonder if he'll come around here and uh, hopefully not in the fall. <laughs> that was crappy. Oh, God. That was. Well, we, uh, dear listener, we do plan on doing a Pine Knob show one of these days. Um, and so. Maybe it'll have audio clips. Maybe it won't, but we'll save our pineapple stories for then. But then I'll forget them. A couple episodes. Well, I mean, they weren't. It, we basically, basically just going to bitch about the weather. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. <laughs> See you again. I'll go this way. Yep. All right. Fade away. I'll go this way. Oh, no. I want to go this way. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, we should have all done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. I run out of room. Uh, All right. See ya. Bye. When you live on the north coast, you manage your time.